This is a story of taking personal accountability for your own behavior, taking ownership. But it's also the flip side of forgiveness and acceptance. And this is rare to see on the internet. Street Beast family, what's up, y'all? Face, my brother, Lord Bestabon, here at Neutral Corner. I'm going to tell y'all what you're about to see. And I hope everybody watches and hears what I'm saying so they understand why they're seeing what they're seeing. Last weekend, my son, Justice, there's going to be videos of his face. Uh, or pictures, we got pictures yeah. of it, posted in this uh, interview. He got jumped. He got jumped by nine people. My son Justice is 145 pounds. Four of the people that jumped him were like 250 or better. The guy you're going to see today was 300 pounds. That pissed me off enough, because to me there's surprised. no excuse for that. There ain't no excuse for somebody 300 pounds beating up on somebody 145 pounds. Big in my difference. One on one, let alone nine on one. They all jumped him, but then... They really set me off one, because the guy that you're about to see posted on his Snapchat a video that I felt was bragging. He posted a clip of my son being jumped, and I felt like it was bragging. He said, I'm on my WWE shit, and showed him slamming my son. That's crazy. I mean, come on. Who's going to put something on Snapchat and brag about it? I reached out. I put word out. I said, look, everybody involved is going to answer for this. I'm well known in this area. And I put the word out. I said, everybody's going to answer for it. Okay. Somebody is going to come to my gym and man up, or we're going to keep coming for you. All the other eight guys were straight. I'm sure. Refused to show up, refused to do anything, refused to back their mouth up. The sad thing with young men today is a lack of accountability. This dude, Benny Good, is the only one out of them that soldiered up. So he messaged me and he said, I'm going to come to the gym Friday and I'm going to solve it. And I told him, you're going to... There was nine of you that jumped my son at once. So we're going to put you through a shark tank. Five of us. But at least you get them one at a time. You get them one at a time. Back to back to back. Luckily for him, he's only doing one minute rounds. But Benny is an untrained fighter. So even one minute is going to be a struggle for him. And one minute with emotional intensity is essentially going to be difficult for him. It's going to be a punishment. And that's what we gave him. And that's what you're going to see. I will forewarn you. He took a savage beating in the ring. But this is a boxing gym. Just to be clear, we are in a boxing gym. People take beatings every day in boxing gyms. He came, he knew what he was coming into. He knew he had jumped my son. All of us at this gym are close. All of you guys that said you were his friends, all those times you guys hung out and was like, yeah, you my boy, bro, we ride or die. People are never friends. None of y'all showed up. Bitches. None of y'all. So you guys should all be ashamed of yourselves. They ben, if you're watching this, you're the only real one out of all your friends. Yeah, and there's a dude, Corey Haslip, that was on his Facebook flashing guns at me and my son. Listen, boy, like the baby said, you ain't going to do nothing with that gun. You just pull it out in your pictures. The use of a knife or a gun is an extreme way of dealing with disputes. And quite often, most of these disputes emerge out of ego battles. Okay, so you're a big talker, but if you right? came into the gym, you ain't no soldier like Benny. You'd have got it worse. So be happy you opted behavior. out. Hey, shout out to Benny. The beef is over with you. It's all love. You got a membership here. Street Peace family, we love y'all. This is what it's about. It's about solving beefs. I could have suited up and went look for these guys. Yeah. But I chose to settle it with gloves because okay. that's street beefs. Peace. Now, I know most people will say boxing is a form of violence. And one thing about combat sports, about settling disputes in this way, is that it actually dismantles that ego battle. Because when you're in there and someone's trying to hit you, it doesn't become about ego anymore. It takes you into this different place. You suddenly start to realize you're not a superhuman ego being. So look, you know, you met my son. You know what happened. Um, so this is the dude the on the left. You're way bigger than him. Benny. Yeah, way bigger. I know, I know. We talked about Benny last night. Yeah. I was gonna, how much you got to give him credit. He's actually turned up, right? Yeah, he's 145, you know. So here's my thing. No, we respect you for showing up. Okay. I, it takes I mean, it took some balls to walk in here. It does take a lot of to, come to show and, up and actually step up and walk oh, in the yeah, gym. Sure. We're gonna do a drill, especially on your own, um, where there's gonna be five of us, not at a time. You're just gonna box one minute each. Benny's okay? nervous though. You can you see when that. he's drinking that water. Everything's forgiven. He's like a safety cool. blanket and, for him. And you know, as far as the other guys, which is uh, understandable, I'd be nervous too. Is a bitch, but. But. Let's go. Okay. Oh, I'm going to start loading up 
So this is this is a punishment shark tank. I mean, the context of the fight, I get it, but we've got to really talk about into why this is happening. Because the whole point of street beefs is to deal with disputes without resorting to violence, guns, knives, or worse. So you could say it's a healthy environment of dealing with disputes without resorting to actually killing someone. But I think there's a lot of issues here really to talk about. Mostly accountability, taking ownership of behaviour. And really forgiveness and acceptance, which I think this is a good example of. Let's go. Go down. 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 Go Yeah. 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 There's something very humbling about being punched. Maybe that's what dismantles the ego. Fact, Touch gloves. Oh, oh, you got, you got 15 seconds. Oh, 15 let's go. seconds. Right, let's go. Hey, just body, body, bodies. Yeah, body. Body, 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 head. Ten. Body, 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 Justice's brother. You don't expect this to be quite intense, right? Don't get sloppy. Don't get sloppy. You're not mad enough to fuck with me. You're not mad enough to fuck with me. You can't last three seconds of my fucking life. Look at you. Look at you. Bitch. Come on. Come on. Come on. Get your brain. Hey, 30 seconds. Look at you. 30 seconds. Bitch. Bitch. He don't hit hard at all. That's why he so needed it. five-round shot tank. Look at you. He's one minute. He's obviously not trying to fight him quite clearly. Look at you. 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 Your mom is crying now because she sees it. Look at you. 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 I want everybody that's involved to shake his fucking hand. He came in here like a man. Madness, I know you're a dog, but come here. Come here, Madness. He came in here like a fucking man. He came in like a man and took his licks. It's much just Showing like love. an initiation, you know. Yeah. Hey. hey, he's the only person out of everybody. We're going to show the messages on the screen that, that showed up. I mean, you can explain it more. Listen, but. listen. The man, the heart that it fucking took, it's a, he's just chippy, bro. I can say this about him. He's a soldier. So I respect it. He came down here and he solved the fucking beef. YouTube, respect that because he didn't have to come. And his punk ass, no. well, I don't know if they're his friends, but the dudes that jumped, they ain't coming. Benny the only one. All right, man. You're the only one who pulled up. Oh, for sure. Everything's right. good now. Like with I said, you, bro. that shit was bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's squashed. Um, and this young That's man's got a lifetime man. membership to Best my gym and his friend, too, if he wants to come. He's going to be part of Nutri Corner if he wants to be. The beef is squashed. So we that appreciate you lot. coming. It really does. Yeah. Hey, it's all good. It's all sure. forgiveness. For, uh, yes. Thank y'all for taking it this way y'all did. There's a lot more, much more than I know a lot of people would. How old are you? 20. So 20. you're young as fuck. Yeah. You know, you won't hear another bad word from nobody from this gym. 20 and 20 uh, pounds. You got our respect. Took balls to come here. So, for sure. I'm real. Come here without nobody extra. So what's the takeaway here? Well, for me, it's an issue of accountability. We live in a society where people lack the ability to take ownership of their own behavior. 
And very rarely do we see an example where someone's willing to take ownership of their own behavior. Now, you could say this was blind fear. This guy stepped forward because at the end of the day, he feared that there'll be repercussions off camera at some other point in the future. Possible. But then the eight other dudes that were involved in this didn't turn up either. Now, it's ironic that his surname's Good, but Benny Good did a good job of taking ownership for his own behavior. And you've got to give him credit because this is a very rare insight in today's society. It's quite rare for people to actually acknowledge that they've done something wrong without blaming the victim, let alone step forward and be accountable for it and take a punishment for it. But what's also rare is the other side, the side of forgiveness, because once it was done, it was done. It was squashed and it was over. The certain fringes in our society that will say that violence has no place is probably better to talk your way out of these things and resolve these issues amicably. But I think without this outlet, these young men would resort to a high level of violence. I always say you learn to fight so you don't have to fight. This is a classic example. When you know how to fight and you have fought, you don't want to fight. And you won't easily be dragged into fights because you know what it takes. Your ego doesn't need satisfying. Learn how to fight so you don't have to fight. Growth, mental strength and personal development is something you can take away from this. Yes, I get it. It's very Neanderthal, two people fighting. And most people in society will say human growth and development goes far beyond throwing fists. Personal growth through violence is a weird context to discuss personal growth but maybe it works at the end of the day if you know how to fight you'll deal with your disputes with dialogue not your fists because one of the things you'll understand is you won't have the need to fight in that sense you'll rise above personal conflict and you will be a better person for it so learn how to fight so you don't have to fight and maybe that's a message that benny's now learned thanks for watching